What's up? Um, this is my spare CRX. I picked this up without a motor for about 500 bucks. It did have the fender and the hood. Um, I took the hood off for my car and I took the fender off for someone else's CRX that was smashed up. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut to the footage showing the before and after on day one real quick. This is my before on this CRX. Um, these little plastic pieces in the back on the sides weren't in there. They're still not put all the way together in place, but I'm slowly cleaning this out and putting things where they go. Um, I just removed this, so I'm going to put that on my main CRX, but this is, uh, this is where we sit so far, day one. Um, yeah. So, as you can see, I've been getting a lot of these styrofoam peanuts out. Um, there is quite a bit of rust damage. Uh, as you can see, I can completely put my hand through the floorboard. Um, but it looks like the majority of the rust damage is just on this side. But it's hard to tell until I really get all of these packing peanuts up. Alright, still day one. But we can see the floorboard now. Got all, at least in the front. I haven't done anything in the back. But got all the packing peanuts and shop vacked all of the dirt and debris and everything that I could so that we can actually see the floorboard. Alright. End of day one. Nothing's really, you know, attached, but it's sitting in place. You get an idea of everything. So it looks a hell of a lot better than it did. Now, I did remove the struts, control arm, and wheel hub because I was replacing the CV axles on mine. And, uh, oh yeah, and I know you can kind of see there's a motor in there. I don't have the, I guess, rights to that motor. Um, the guy I bought it from, he's supposed to be bringing me the seats and the title. And it, when he does, uh, he's going to pick up that engine. I guess if he never brings them, then then I've, I get to keep that engine? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I felt like it was a good, um, still a good deal without the title and seats, as long as it was the potential that I could keep the engine. <laughs> but for now, I'm going to just pretend that the engine's not there. But yeah, I had to, I ordered CV axles for my CRX, and they sent me the SI CR axles. CV axles, what am I talking about? I always misspeak when I record these. So, since mine's an HF, I had to take all this stuff off, which, I mean, I didn't have to take the struts off, but the struts were nice aftermarket ones, so I decided to take those too. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I have SI front brakes and everything on mine now. Um, the control arms, wheel hubs, and stuff are in the back of this. So, moving on to, so, um, after day one, well, it was still technically day one, I decided to load in all of my extra interior pieces. As you can tell, I have quite a bit. This was really taking up a lot of space in my carport. I still got a little bit of room. I could rearrange this to put some seats in there, since I do have some seats that aren't for this, but they're kind of in my way. I could set them in there. So I would like one day to do something with the CRX, but for now, this is my spare parts. If I need a, a rear bumper, I can take the bumper. If I need tail lights, if I need anything, which I'm probably going to be taking these doors. But today I got a package to be covering this up. I got a nice tarp because I don't know if this thing leaks or not, although it has a lot of rust damage <laughs> anyway. So if it did leak, all the water is just going to come right back out. But I don't want my carpet and all my interior pieces getting wet and without any kind of like real tent on this car it's probably getting really hot in there and i want to keep all of my spare interior pieces in in good condition so i want to be covering this with a tarp now well um i hit record and set the phone down to show myself you know putting this tarp on because it's a really windy day and i had a cool idea wanted to see if it'd work 
and I held it up like a kite and the wind expanded it all the way and I put it on the car. <laughs> it's my first time ever putting a car cover on, which I don't know why I was calling I guess it's a tarp, it's a car cover. But yeah, so even though I deleted all the footage from yesterday off my phone, um, because I didn't restart the phone, it didn't register I had that stored, so five seconds after walking away from the car, or the phone, I mean, recording stopped. But yeah, I got the cover on there. Um, it was the smallest one I could get, but it still seems to be a little big, but it's good. It's got these uh, straps. I'm gonna have to find some way to like throw up underneath there and clip. Oh, for anyone else needing an idea how to get these straps across underneath, uh, just get like a really long stick, wrap it around, and then just feed the stick through. That's, that's what I did here. I think it's doing all right. Looks pretty okay. It's not super ugly or anything. Hopefully that'll keep all of my pieces um, safe and tidy. So, uh, thanks for watching this video. Me just sharing some other projects I'm working on. I know this one didn't get very far. It was mostly just cleaning it up and using it as a storage shed for CRX related parts. But, you know, it's still something I'm doing. And uh, I just my arm is kind of messed up and I just physically haven't really been able to do a whole lot of the VR stuff, but I've been needing to do these things anyway, so I thought I'd make some videos out of it. So it's been Postal 268 and thanks for watching.